They were feared, respected, untouchable in their dominance. For centuries, India's warrior castes, like the Rajputs, Marathas, and Kshatriyas, have stood as living symbols of valor and nobility. Clad in armor, ruling kingdoms, and leading armies across the subcontinent, their lineage was believed to be divine, rooted in sacred texts and legendary epics. But behind the swords and the silks, one question has haunted historians for generations. Where did they truly come from? Was their rise to power shaped solely by religion and tradition? Or is there a deeper genetic story buried beneath centuries of myth? Now, cutting-edge DNA analysis extracted from ancient burial sites and long-forgotten remains is challenging everything we thought we knew. Hidden strands of ancestry, migrations from far beyond the Indian plains, a timeline that doesn't match the ancient texts. What if the origin of India's most powerful castes was written not in scripture, but in blood? What secrets does ancient DNA unlock about India's warrior elite? India's caste system is one of the world's oldest surviving social structures, dating back over 3,000 years. Within it, the Kshatriyas stood as warriors and kings, entrusted with the protection of Dharma and the defense of kingdoms. Names like Rajput, Maratha, and Chola echo through time associated with grand battles, vast empires, and tales of unyielding bravery. But despite their prominence in history, little was truly known about their biological roots. Historical records are sparse, ancient texts speak in metaphor, and oral traditions, though rich, often blur the line between fact and legend. Were these warrior castes indigenous to the Indian subcontinent? Or were they shaped by waves of migration, conquest, and assimilation from Central Asia, the Iranian Plateau, or even further west? The mystery deepened in recent decades as archaeologists uncovered ancient burial sites across regions like Rajasthan, Maharashtra, and the Gangetic Plain, graves filled with weapons, horse remains, and clues of elite status. Yet, until recently, Science lacked the tools to read the one code that never lies, DNA. What happens when modern genetics confronts one of history's most deeply rooted hierarchies? The year was 2018. In the dusty plains of northern India, a team of archaeologists unearthed a burial mound near the ancient site of Sonali. Inside lay a chariot-like structure, copper weapons, and skeletal remains, buried with care reverence, and unmistakable signs of elite status. It was an unprecedented discovery. For the first time, material culture suggested the presence of a martial aristocracy in India, dating back over 4,000 years. But that wasn't all. Among the bones, researchers extracted something far more valuable, well-preserved ancient DNA. Long considered impossible in India's humid climate, the recovery was hailed as a breakthrough. These genetic fragments belong to individuals buried with symbols of warrior identity, possibly the precursors to India's later caste-based military classes. Soon, more samples followed. From warrior tombs in Rajasthan to fortified settlements in Maharashtra, ancient remains began telling a new story, a story invisible to the naked eye hidden in the code of life itself. And as the DNA was decoded, scientists began to notice patterns. Striking patterns. Were these ancient warriors truly native? Or had their bloodlines come from somewhere else entirely? In high-security labs from Delhi to Harvard, teams of geneticists and historians joined forces to decode the fragments. Leading the effort, was a coalition of institutions including the Reich Lab at Harvard, the Birbal Sani Institute, and India's own ASI, each contributing to the most ambitious genetic study ever conducted on the subcontinent's ancient past. Their mission, trace the origins of India's warrior castes through genomic mapping, 
Y chromosome lineage analysis, and mitochondrial DNA tracing. But the path was far from easy. Ancient DNA is notoriously fragile, especially in tropical climates, where heat and humidity degrade biological material over millennia. Contamination from modern DNA was a constant threat. Even the tiniest trace from a researcher's breath could ruin months of work. Samples had to be sterilized, frozen, then sequenced with microscopic precision. As the data began to emerge, tensions rose. The implications were massive, not just for science, but for history, politics, and cultural identity. Would the findings support ancient Indian texts and oral traditions? Or would they challenge long-held beliefs about who the warrior castes really were? Then a pattern emerged, a recurring genetic signature, one that pointed far beyond the borders of India. The results were stunning. Across dozens of ancient remains linked to warrior burials, a significant proportion carried steppe ancestry, a genetic signal tracing back to the Pontic Caspian steppe, a vast grassland stretching from modern-day Ukraine to western Kazakhstan. These weren't isolated cases. The genetic markers were consistent, recurring in the Y-chromosome haplogroups associated with Indo-European migrations around 2000 BCE. One haplogroup stood out, R1a Z93, a lineage almost absent in pre-Bronze Age India, but now found widely among upper caste groups, especially within Kshatriya populations. This was the same lineage dominant among the ancient Scythians, Sarmatians, and early Indo-Iranians, nomadic warrior cultures known for their horse mastery and chariot warfare. The implications were explosive. These weren't just cultural borrowings. The warrior castes may have descended, at least in part, from migrating steppe populations that brought not only new technologies, but also a rigid social hierarchy and a new language family, Indo-Aryan. What's more, the mitochondrial DNA, tracing maternal lineage, remained largely South Asian, suggesting males from the steppe intermarried with local women, gradually embedding themselves into the fabric of ancient society. Was this the genetic spark that ignited India's caste system and warrior elite? Picture the moment. Around 2000 BCE, on the windswept steppes of Central Asia, horse-riding clans harnessed the power of the chariot. Masters of metallurgy and animal domestication, they were fast, organized, and militarized. Then, over decades, waves of these nomadic tribes, carrying steppe ancestry, moved southward through the mountain passes of Afghanistan and into the Indian subcontinent. They didn't arrive as invaders, but as dominant newcomers, merging violence with alliance, conquest with adaptation. Their language, early Indo-Aryan, took root. Their gods echoed through Vedic hymns. Their rituals influenced what would become the Varna system, dividing society by role and birth. At the top, the warriors, the Kshatriyas, lineages solidified, codified, sanctified. They became kings, rulers, defenders of Dharma. Their bloodlines endured, their stories mythologized, but the DNA told the deeper tale, a fusion of foreign paternal ancestry and local maternal heritage, preserved across millennia through strict caste endogamy. Temples rose, kingdoms flourished, history unfolded, layer upon layer, built on a biological legacy written into the very bones of India's martial past. What began as migration became mythology. But science now reveals the roots beneath the legend. The warrior castes of India were never just the stuff of legend. Their origins, once hidden beneath layers of myth and ancient scripture, are now illuminated by the unyielding lens of science. Ancient DNA has shattered old assumptions and opened a genetic window into one of the world's oldest and most complex societies. It confirms what some feared, others suspected, and few were ready to face. That identity is not fixed in time, 
but forged in migration, mixing, and adaptation. In the bones of long-buried warriors, we see the echoes of chariots crossing steppes, of languages reshaping civilizations, of bloodlines woven through conquest and kinship. And yet, despite the scientific clarity, a deeper mystery remains. How much of who we are is history, and how much is story? If you found this journey as fascinating as we did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap the bell to unlock more ancient secrets revealed through cutting-edge science. Because the past is not dead. It's encoded in us all, waiting to be read. Stay curious, stay skeptical, and never stop asking, what else is buried in our DNA?